Hi there. Welcome to the Debunkers channel. Once upon a time, someone decided that the word theory in science was equivalent to just guessing. And somehow, that misunderstanding grew and mutated into the persistent myth that evolution is just a theory and not a scientific fact. Let's clear this up. Calling evolution just a theory is like calling the internet just a phase. Sure, you can say it, but you'd be wrong and a little embarrassing to boot. Let's start with some Science 101. In everyday language, the word theory is used to describe a hunch, a guess, or even a fleeting suspicion. Like, I have a theory my neighbor is stealing my Amazon packages. But in the scientific world, oh, it's a whole different game. A scientific theory is not just a guess. It's an explanation backed by mountains of evidence, tested over and over, and refined to fit the facts. Scientific theories are the crown jewels of science. The theory of gravity? Pretty solid. Germ theory? Thank that one the next time you wash your hands. Plate tectonics? It's why California occasionally feels like it's auditioning for a disaster movie. And evolution? It's right up there with the greats, a cornerstone of modern biology. So why evolution? What's the evidence? Oh, where do we even begin? Let's crack open the fossil record, shall we? It's basically a photo album from Mother Nature. Except instead of awkward middle school pics, it's got things like Tiktaalik, a fish with wrists. Yes, wrists. Or Archaeopteryx, the dinosaur that tried its best to cosplay as a bird. These fossils are transitional forms, the snapshots of life evolving over millions of years. Think of them as nature's receipts proving evolution happened. But fossils are just the appetizer. The genetic evidence is where the real feast begins. Did you know humans share about 98.8% of their DNA with chimpanzees? That's closer than you probably are to your weird second cousin. And it's not just chimps. We share about 60% of our DNA with bananas. Yes, bananas. Next time someone calls you a fruit, take it as a compliment. You're genetically related. This shared DNA shows how all life on Earth is connected, branching out from common ancestors like an incredibly complex family tree. Still not convinced? Let's talk about evolution happening in real time. Ever heard of antibiotic-resistant bacteria? These superbugs are like nature's way of saying, yeah, evolution is real. When bacteria are exposed to antibiotics, the ones that survive pass on their resistant genes. And suddenly, you've got a whole population of germs laughing at your penicillin. Or how about the peppered moths in England during the Industrial Revolution? When soot darkened the trees, the darker colored moths had better camouflage, so they survived and reproduced more than their lighter relatives. That's natural selection in action, folks. Now, for the skeptics in the back, let's address the usual arguments. But evolution is just a theory, we've heard them cry. Well, so is gravity. And yet, I don't see anyone floating around because they're skeptical of Newton. There's no evidence, they'll say, conveniently ignoring the mountains of fossils, genetic studies, and observed natural selection. Or my favorite, why don't we see monkeys turning into humans? Ah, the classic, I'm confused, therefore it's wrong argument. Humans didn't evolve from monkeys. We share a common ancestor. It's like saying you didn't come from your cousin. You both came from the same grandparent. And for those who say evolution is incompatible with their beliefs? Well, here's a fun fact. Many religious leaders and organizations, including the Vatican, have acknowledged that evolution and faith can coexist. Pope Francis himself said, evolution in nature is not inconsistent with the notion of creation because evolution requires the creation of beings that evolve. So if the Pope's cool with evolution, maybe it's time to let go of the myth. Evolution is more than just an explanation for life's diversity. It's the foundation of modern biology. It's why we understand how diseases work, how crops can be improved, and how species adapt to their environments. Ignoring evolution doesn't just put you at odds with science. It cuts you off from understanding the very processes that keep life ticking. So here's the deal. Evolution isn't just a theory. It's a fact, a scientific triumph, and a testament to humanity's ability to figure out the big questions. And if you're still holding on to the myth, well, maybe it's time for your understanding to evolve. Like this video? Smash that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and drop a comment below. Let's hear your favorite evolution is just a theory argument so we can debunk it together. And remember, evolution doesn't need your belief to be true. It's happening whether you like it or not. Have a great one. Thanks for watching the Debunkers channel.